What's going on all of my healthcare brothers and sisters? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. I have another highly requested video that you all have requested in the comments and today we're gonna to be talking about calculating IV drips. Let's get started. So in order to do IV drip rate calculations, we use the drops per minute calculation and that is our volume in mLs times our drip factor over our time in minutes. So this is just plugging in. So let's take a look at the problem and plug in our answer. So the example is a provider orders 1000 mLs normal saline to infuse over eight hours. You have a macro drip tubing with a drop factor of 15 drops per mL. Calculate how many drops per mL to set as the IV flow rate. So like I said, this is real easy. We're just going to plug in our numbers. So our volume is 1000 mLs of normal saline. So we're gonna plug in our 1000 times our drip factor, which is 15. And now we just need to plug in our time in minutes. But this equation gave us hours, right? So all we have to do is just convert it to minutes. So that's gonna be eight hours times 60 minutes in an hour, right? So based on our calculations, we are going to get 15,000 over 480. And when you finish out the calculation, you're going to get your final answer of 31.25 or 31 drops when you round it. So your final answer, depending on what your calculation exam gives you, is gonna be 31.25 or 31. Let's move on to the next question. Let's take a look at our next equation. So again, we're using the same um, calculation. So the example is the provider orders ANSEF one gram and 100 mLs normal saline to infuse over 30 minutes. You have a macro drip tubing with a drop factor of 10. Calculate how many drops per minute to set as the IV flow rate. So again, we're just plugging in numbers, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that hard. So to begin, we know we have ANSEF one gram and it's in 100 mLs of normal saline. So we can go ahead and plug in our 100. Next, we need to figure out what our drop factor is. We know that it's 10. So we're just going to plug that in. And then lastly, we're looking at our time in minutes. This time we don't have to do any conversions. It gave it to us um, directly. So we've got 30 minutes. So we're just gonna plug that in. And what we get when we multiply is we get 1000 over 30. And once we continue and we finish off the equation, we get 33.33 .33 or just 33 drops when you round it up. So the correct answer for this equation is going to be 33 or 33.33, .33, depending on what your dosage calculation exam asks. Let's move on to the next question. So this example states, the provider orders 250 mLs normal saline to infuse over one hour. You have a macro drip tubing with a drop factor of 15. You need to calculate how many drops per minute to set as the IV flow rate. So again, just plug in the numbers here. So we have volume in mLs, 250 normal saline. So we just plug that in times our drip factor, which is 15. And we know that we're giving this over one hour. So we can just do a quick calculation, 60 times one is 60. So we're just going to plug in 60 here. So doing our calculations, this is going to give us 3,750 over 60. And as we finish this out, we're going to get 62.5 or 63 drops when we are rounding. So the correct answer for this equation is going to be 63 or 62.5, depending on what your dosage calculation exam asks. 
Let's move on to the next question. So our next example is asking, the provider orders vancomycin 1 gram and 500 mLs to infuse over six hours. You have tubing with a drop, a drop factor of 20, and we need to calculate how many drops per minute to set the IV flow rate to. So again, just plug in our answers here. So our volume in mLs is going to be 500 mLs. So we can plug that in. And that is going to be multiplied by our drip factor, which we know is 20. Lastly, we just need to get our time in minutes. So we know that this is going to be going over six hours, but we need to convert that to minutes. So we're going to multiply it by 60. So based on the calculations, as we do our multiplication, we're going to get 10,000 over 360 minutes. So as we continue with our division, we're going to get 27.77 or 28 drops when we round up. So the correct answer for this equation is going to be 28 or 27.77, depending on what your dosage calculation exam is asking. Let's move on to our final question. So looking at our final question, it is asking, the provider orders 2.5 liters of normal saline to infuse over six hours. You have tubing with a drop factor of 60. Calculate how many drips per minute to set as the IV flow rate. So to begin with, we already know that we have liters instead of milliliters. So in order to use this drops per minute calculation, we have to convert our liters to milliliters. And how do we do that? I'm just gonna write it out really quickly right here. If you haven't done so already, I did a video on metric conversions and how to break those down. I highly recommend that you go back and check that out because this will make this equation a lot more simpler. So we have King Henry doesn't usually drink cold milk. So that is how we break down our metric conversions. So right now we have 2.5 liters. So we talked about this before in my previous video, is that the decimal place is always going to go to the right of the column that we are trying to convert. So we have 2.5 liters. So we're gonna put the decimal place to the right of units because we know that units is a measurement um, of liters. And we're gonna just plug in two and then five. So what we need to do is we need to get milliliters. So we're gonna place our next decimal point here to the right of milliliters. And we're just going to add our zeros and move our decimal place over. So we know based on this conversion that 2.5 liters is equal to 2,500 milliliters. Again, highly recommend you go check out the other video because this will make a whole lot more sense. So now we gotta figure out our drip factor. We know that our drip factor is 60, so we're gonna go ahead and plug that in. And lastly, we need to figure out our time in minutes. So we know that this is going to infuse over six hours. So we're going to take six and we're gonna multiply it by 60 because there's 60 minutes in an hour. So we're going to do our multiplication and we are going to get 150,000 over 360. So, as we further do our division, we are going to get 416.66 or 417 drops as we round up. So the correct answer for our final question is going to be 417 or 416.66, depending on what your dosage calculation exam is asking you. I hope that this video is helpful in understanding how to calculate IV drips. If you have any additional questions, make sure that you leave them down below. I love answering them. 
Make sure you follow me on my social media. I'm on Facebook and Instagram. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you're subscribed here on YouTube and turn on that bell notification so you're informed every time I post a new video. There'll be additional questions as well as resources on my website at www.nursechung.com. So head over there and check it out. But until next time, I hope you're having a wonderful day and I will see you all again soon. Bye.